Top secret of the week, Lady Ada, what's okay. this? So, finally getting back to doing some hardware after so much tariff math. Um, this is a variant of the TLB320 DAC 3100 that we have in the store. This looks very similar, and it is very similar, but it did have to, I did have to move around a couple things and it's slightly um, different pinout because now this has microphone inputs as well as headphone out and speaker out. So you get stereo headphone and it's like true headphone amplifier. So you can drive headphones, not just line out. You got a mono speaker, 48 ohms. And if you look at the top, instead of analog input and some other stuff, whatever, it's got mic L minus, mic L plus, mic R plus. So it's got um, L plus and so there's, it's a little bit weird because mic L plus and mic R plus are basically the two microphone inputs. Bias is a two volt microphone bias input that you can use if you're using electric mics, if you're using like MEMS mics, ignore that. And then I've also tied in the microphone from the headphone jack, if you're using like Apple headphones, which is kind of standard now, that on the back there's a jumper connects to mic L minus, which you can connect to mic L plus, whatever, it's differential. Um, so you basically have analog inputs as well. And that's why, um, oh, on the bottom, you know, it's funny, I forgot, there's a D out pin. After SDA and before DN, it's supposed to say D out. I forgot to label it. Do we send you a reminder? No, because it's no when I wire it up, I'll immediately see it. Okay. Um, but yes, this is like basically the WM8690 got discontinued. I can't get any more, and this is kind of the closest thing. Okay. TVM2. So somebody requested this the SLB 9670BVQ2 firmware version 8789, whatever. Um, this is a TPM module like those used for computers, but you can apparently also use it with like Linux machines, single board computers. It's got an SPI port. Uh -huh. um, it's a weird, but it's also like not, it wasn't hard. Like I don't have to write a driver for it because you would just wire it up to your computer as a TPM module. But if you want to not use firmware TPM, if you want like hardware TPM, this is one. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe some people have use for it. Crypto, cool stuff. What's this? Um, I made two quick versions of, uh, low cost versions of like the INA 228, which we have, which is a 20 bit INA. There's also a 237. This has um, a much wider input voltage range than the INA 209. And to be honest, it's pin compatible and firmware compatible. So I just like going to just do this far. Okay, this, uh, we're going to be posting these uh, probably starting tomorrow. What's this? This is the ST spin. So we did the A4988 stepper, and then we followed up with the TMC2209, which we're going to get more in. We just got chips. Um, very popular stepper motor drivers. The ST spin is good for low voltage. It only does up to an amp, but it can do 10 volts and under, which the other drivers don't really like to do as much. Um, it can also do like 256 micro stepping, which is pretty impressive just by like twiddling the Duran step pins. So just another, you know, stepper driver, um, for people who want to use the SD spin. It's not in like the standard 3D printer pinout because you can get those. Those, those are made by everybody. Although I don't know, maybe with tariffs, it's tougher. Um, this one has terminal blocks and it's just breadboard friend and there's mounting holes. Okay. And then this was covered on the Great Search, the LM37100. This is kind of a nice ideal diode. It's like an ultra low board voltage ideal diode 23 volts max, 5.5 amps. So really good for solar panels, which is what I want to use it for, as long as your solar panels are like 12 volt-ish, maybe 16 volt-ish. Um, and I put like terminal blocks on the sides so you can see like you can just use, you could actually just use it with just terminal blocks as an ideal diode. But also has things like current monitoring, you can change the slew rate, you can like have over and under voltage lockouts if you want, da, da, da. But um, I'm just going to use it as like the, Ideal diode for solar. Okay, last up for the, she wasn't kidding. There's a lot. Yeah, this is just a respin kind of of our Ethernet Featherwing. Um, this is a Wiz 5500 SPI Ethernet chip. I was actually realizing it's like, I wanted to wire up like not a feather. I think it was like somebody was like, I wanted to like wire up like an ESP breakout or something to have Ethernet. And I was like, oh yeah, we don't have just like, a non-feather, non-shield Ethernet. So this is just all that Ethernet stuff, but just in a, like a breakout. Um, so you can easily put it on a breadboard and add Ethernet to your your devices. And it has a little shifting and stuff too. That is top secret. 